Hi everybody, welcome. On Halloween, the 31st of October, we've got a blue moon in Taurus at eight degrees and 38 minutes. A blue moon is an unusual event because it's um, a second blue, um, a second full moon of the month. So this is going to be a very powerful time. Taurus, full moon in Taurus, and this moon is conjunct to Uranus. So this has to do with living with, learning to live emotionally with great turbulence, with great change. The moon is your emotions. The moon in Taurus likes stability. It likes predictability. It likes a routine. It likes to kind of have an idea of what the flavor is to come. And when you put the Uranus conjunct that moon at the time of a full moon, chances are the emotions are going to be bubbling up. You may find yourself going from one extreme to another extreme emotionally, feeling very buoyant, then feeling a little bit deflated, then up again and very changeable. You might feel as though you're really on stormy seas. And sometimes a storm at sea can really wake you up. It can really be like an awakening. So this is the awakening of the emotional body that is happening. Because it's in an earth sign and we've got five planets in earth signs, I think this has to do with our mother earth, an awakening as to what we've been doing to mother earth. Apparently, according to uh, records, in the last 50 years alone, 70% of our vertebrates have been wiped out. 70%. So it's possibly going to be an opportunity to really look at, because uh, full moons bring things to a head. And it's time to really look at what do we need to do to correct all the pain and suffering that we've been inflicting on our home, our Mother Earth. The moon rules the home, the sense of home. And it's all being shaken up. And there may be emotions, there may be sadness, there may be some tears in the recognition of what's been done. And then there is the buildup of saying, okay, now we realize that we must make some significant changes. That's what this full moon in Taurus is all about. So you may find that things that you've been sweeping under the carpet, emotions that you've been trying to hold in, and maybe you've been trying to be very stoic or very strong, or you've been resisting certain emotions, chances are at the time of this full moon, you'll have an opportunity to really face them and not to resist them. The challenge is not to resist. I'm reminded of a, a beautiful quote by Lao Tzu, who says that life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them. That only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. And I think that this energy is allowing the pieces and the parts of your life that you don't have any control of, that you're trying desperately to control, just to let go and release and see where you're being led. And then a great quote here that uh, fits aptly, I feel, with this uh, uh, full moon in Taurus is uh, because there's so many changes that are going to be happening that will be accelerated. There might be a feeling of overwhelm, like, oh, not another thing I'm having to contend with. 
And I think in one way or another, collectively, we're all dealing with this feeling of, oh my goodness, what's next? What's the next shoe that's going to drop? And if we can once again see that emotionally we're on the same boat and more changes are coming. And as Eckhart Tolle said, some changes may look negative on the surface, but you'll soon realize that space is being created in your life for something new to emerge. And I don't know about you, but my experience of life, even when I've gone through some of my worst moments, that when one door or several doors close, new ones open up afterwards that was so much better than what I was hanging on to before. So I think this is like a real release time. We've still got Mars retrograde in Aries. So it's time to look at how you deal with anger. And because so many emotions are gonna be hot at this time, I think it's gonna be really important to uh, not to lose your temper, not to lose it, but maybe to have extra compassion and extra space for people who may be, shall we say, feeling as though they're at the end of their tether. See if you can be the person who brings calm in the midst of the storms around us. Not easy. I'm certainly not perfect to this, but that's just my suggestion based on the, this, this Mars retrograde still going on with this very um, emotionally volatile full moon. Venus, ruler of this moon, is in Libra. And Mercury is retrograde in Libra. And Libra is encouraging you here to look for the peaceful way. Be the peaceful warrior. Mars is the warrior and Libra is the peace. So let's bring those two together. It doesn't mean to say that you might not have to speak out and say something important to you or speak, say something to somebody that needs to be said. But you might want to check that you're not coming from anger and then you'll only make the situation worse, but that you're coming from a desire to find a peaceful outcome and a loving outcome, if at all possible. Mercury retrograde is encouraging you very much to be silent rather than speak something that could be hurtful or painful. So we've got a lot of cardinal energy, six planets in cardinal signs. Cardinal has to do with initiation. So it really is time to initiate change in your life. Some of it may be coming from outside of you and some of it you may need to choose and to take a risk and to move away from uh, a fearful attitude. And I love what Hel Helen Keller said. She said, Avoiding danger in the long run is no, avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. The fearful are caught out just as often as the bold. So be bold. At the time of this moon, stretch yourself and take the initiative in your life where in areas where you know however uncomfortable they are, you know you need to make a change. I encourage you to do that. I'm doing that in my life. I'm going to be sharing more and more of these things because I've found myself paralyzed by fear and then galvanized to take um, well thought through actions. So I want to thank you very much for listening, for joining me. Uh, on Patreon, different ways that you support this channel. I'm so grateful for you. And I'm so grateful that you're a part of my soul family here. We're all together in this. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how we can come together 
to uh, because Uranus and Moon together is how can we support one another emotionally to find calm and peacefulness amidst whatever adversities that we're all dealing with. From my heart to yours, much love on this super blue moon on Halloween. Bye for now.